hi guys good morning it is the first day of 2024 i already have my coffee in hand i do have to talk a little below normal volume even though i already talk quietly because i don't want to wake up my whole house but today we are not hauling anything we're doing the opposite i'm going to start decluttering some of my clothing because it doesn't fit me it doesn't fit my style some of it is stained and dirty and i just i don't have a lot of space for the amount of clothing i have so sometimes i can't find that one black t-shirt i need <laughs> so today I'm going to be pulling out everything from this set of drawers. I'm going to be getting rid of the clutter on top also. This is all the stuff I use like before bed, so I keep it by my bedside by that little mini fridge. And all of the drawers underneath my bed. I have the mom bed from Ikea and it has four drawers and three of them are just full of clothing. So we're going to get rid of all of, we're not going to get rid of all of that. So we're going to go through all of that and we're just going to get rid of a good chunk of it. I did do a declutter a few months ago. I didn't post it. I wasn't posting videos, but I've accumulated more stuff since then. I've discovered more stuff that I don't wear since then, and I just need the space. So we're just going to go through this. We'll do my closet another day because my closet doesn't have that many clothes, but it does have just a mishmash of laundry, clean laundry, dirty laundry, hanging stuff, coats, sweaters, just stuff I'm not, and I'm not dealing with that today. So grab a drink, grab a cat. And let's just, I'm just gonna start dumping stuff on the bed. I do have cats and I will have to leave the room occasionally like to feed people <laughs> and to use the bathroom. So I have a blankie right here. So whenever I leave the room, I'm just gonna cover all of my clothes with it. But we're just gonna dump, I think we're gonna do the drawers first. I'm not gonna dump everything all at once, but we're going to take everything out of this set of drawers and just dump it on the bed. So I'm gonna divvy it up into throw away, donate. I don't think I have anything worth selling anymore. I've sold everything I was gonna sell. So donate, keep, and throw away. Cause some stuff is just is just garbage. This side over here, this is my um, panties, bras, and socks. And there's another drawer with some t-shirts, but this drawer is already taken care of. I took care of this another day. I'll show it to you if you want. Um, I'll show you a picture, but this is already done. I've already sorted through that and nobody wants to see me sort through socks. So let's just dive into this. I'm gonna dump everything over here on the bed and it's, it's a lot. Okay, so let's just get started. Um, grab a drink, I have my coffee. I'm on my, I'm on my second cup. Or just, you know, if you wanna organize with me, let's just get started. So here we go. <music> drawer is like where I keep my makeup and my nails and all that stuff. I already sorted through that drawer a couple months ago. It's still fine. So we're not going to go through that, but I can already tell I'm probably going to be getting rid of a lot of this. Um, I don't know if I should sort through everything with you or if I should just speed it up, but I mean, we, we got the time, right? And if you're ever wondering what that little sound is in the background, it's one of those uh, Glade Air dispensers it's just it's empty right now so i need to refill it i have the can right there it's just it's high up and need a steppy stool anyway um so here we go this is my first i got this fully intending to work to the gym but i work to the gym once and people talk to me so i don't i don't want to wear this anymore so i'm going to donate this it's a perfectly good shirt i got it from five below but i'm just going to donate that this i just recently got in a shein haul and i'm going to wear that to the gym I'm gonna see how many pairs of denim shorts I have. These look very small. They look teeny tiny, but they're really stretchy. So I'm gonna see how many pairs of denim shorts I have. When my jeans start getting that chub rub thing in the middle, I cut them into shorts. So I might have more 
shorts than I think I do and then I need because I don't really wear them that often. I, see, this is what I'm talking about. This is just a plain black shirt, right? Plain black long sleeve crop top. I have been looking for this shirt for two weeks. Two weeks I've been looking for this shirt and I have three of them, three shirts exactly like this, but in this mass, I haven't been able to find it. So I'm gonna set this aside because I wanna wear this to the gym today. So let me set this aside for now. I'm just gonna hang that right on you. Oh, how pretty. So that is there. Now there's gonna be some gym clothes mixed up in this, even though I try to keep all my gym clothes under the bed. Sometimes I just do my laundry and I just shove it in there to get it out of the way. But that's an example of why this, this needs to get done. So here we go. Another little casual gym top that doesn't, all right, so I'm just gonna start separating the things I'm keeping too. So gym tops here, shorts, thumbs. That's what we got so far. And then this is a skirt. See, why do I have a skirt in here? Probably because it's a set. I don't like hanging up my clothes, by the way. I like folding most of my clothes. So here we go. This is just a little skirt. I guess we'll put that here. And then let's just sort through this really quick. I also have my PJ sets in here. In that second drawer, I tried to keep all my PJ, yes, this is from Timu, all my PJ sets in here. So we're just going to make that its own pile also. So I'm gonna speed it up now and then we'll just see, oh, it's so much. Okay, and we'll just see what we can. I don't think folding everything as I go is very productive. So I'm just gonna sort through everything. So we're gonna sort through everything first and then I'll fold them. After.
quick and painless. Um, I have this two-piece set. It's like a fuzzy PJ set. The, the top doesn't look cute on me, so I'm keeping the bottoms because I do like them. And then this is everything. This is everything I'm getting rid of, pretty much. All right, so that white sports bra, it's like one of my favorite sports bras from Halara, but the white, it's really dingy now. Like it's not a clean looking white color, no matter how, the back is really cute. I like the cup pads. I love this sports bra. I have it in, I have two of them in black and one of them in blue. And then I have the white one, but the white one is really dingy and I haven't been able to save it and bring it back to that nice clean white. So I'm gonna donate that even though, I really do like, maybe I'll try saving it. Well, I'm gonna try saving it one more time and if I can't save it, then that's it. Everything else is pretty much stuff that doesn't fit me well, like this PJ top doesn't fit me well. Um, and stuff that's like pinks and reds and just colors I don't really wear. Don't feel bad about donating stuff that you just recently purchased. Um, like the, um, this is my second pair of the, what's it called? The illegal pants or the forbidden pants. Uh, the forbidden pants and I just don't wear them. I've worn them like twice and honestly I feel like a grandma in them. So I'm just getting rid of, I have another pair somewhere, but I don't, I don't know where it is. And everything I'm keeping that's colorful is PJs. That's the color, everything else, aside from my favorite sweatshirt. This is my favorite sweatshirt. Check it out. I love this sweatshirt. <coughs> everything here is PJs or gym wear that I need to sort through. And we're gonna do that today. It's not gonna be abandoned. So I'm gonna put that aside for now and cover it up. I don't know why. I have a pool floaty in my, in my drawer, but we're gonna put that where it goes. And I have one skirt and only two pairs of shorts. So that's not too bad. These, I'm gonna get rid of one of these. These were both sets that I got from Amazon and they're slightly different, slightly different shades of brown. I'm not being nitpicky, they're slightly different shades of brown and one of the bottoms for one of these broke. So when I come across the bottoms for these, I'll see which one is the matchy for that and then I'll get rid of the other one. But I do like these these sports bras, especially when it's a little cooler because they're very dense. But I'm going to grab a bag. We're going to bag up all of this because this just isn't isn't getting worn. It's just taking up space. He is up to no good. What are you doing? I might get rid of this too. This is just a bra, but I don't think I've ever worn this. You want it? So this is a Calvin Klein bralette. I've never worn this. I wore it once, um, but yeah. We're just gonna bag all of this stuff. I'm gonna cover this with a blankie and we're gonna go make some breakfast. And then I'm going to eat, we're going to eat. And then I will be right back and we'll, we'll start attacking what's below my bed, which is where most of my gym clothes are. And I think some t-shirts that are probably, probably gonna get going. But I really don't feel like I went through enough. I need to be pickier with like my white tank tops. Maybe I need to go through them more closely because I think that some of these can go. So anyway, let's go eat breakfast and then I'll be right back. All right, well, that was fun. Breakfast has been eaten. Coffee has been consumed to the point where I am borderline uh, neurotic. Um, I'm gonna toss on a sweater because it's a little bit chilly. So everything is under the, the cat protection blanket. Everything that I'm keeping is under that blanket. I'm going to go through the drawers underneath my bed. This one to the left of me, I'm not gonna touch because that's all my cat toys. Not, not my cat toys, but my cat's toys and it's where I keep their treats and their canned food. Um, so I'm not gonna bother with that one. Even though I might switch it out later on for a different space because that's a large drawer and I could use that probably for my gym clothes. Um, so, I've discussed this before, but I really, I don't go out anymore. I go to work and I go to the gym and I go to like the grocery store and that's it. That's like the max of my outings. So if clothing is not one of those few things or like super casual wear, then why are you fighting? Why are you so fussy today? Um, then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get rid of it because there's no need for me to have it. So hi. So I do have a lot of gym clothes still that I am gonna be getting rid of, but if it's like, dressier wear which is mostly in my closet i'm just gonna dinner donate it because i really i don't i don't go anywhere i wear jeans at, at work i wear long sleeve shirts at work 
And other than that, like I wear shorts at home or gym clothes and that's that's it. So everything is loungewear, gym wear, or work clothes pretty much, or super casual going to the grocery store. So this is a little two piece set. The other piece is gonna be probably in my closet, but I was gonna wear this on New Year's Eve because it was a little cold and um, I, I took it off immediately. One, I don't like to toot my own horn, but my arms are big. I do work out a lot and I have pretty big arms. So even though this is, it does fit me and the dress does fit me really well, the arms are tight. And if I move my arm or like I flex, and I don't mean like flex, but if I flex my muscle to like open a bottle or a can, it would have ripped the seam open. So this is gonna go immediately to the donate pile, which is a shame, it's really cute. It is very see-through though, but it was a cute little sweater and dress set. When I find the dress, I'm gonna be getting rid of that also because I'm never, I'm never gonna wear it. So that's gonna be donate. I think the paper towels. I think the undercover pile. Now let's get it out from under the cover so I can just add more. There's all the stuff I'm keeping so far. And I'm just going to start dumping out everything that is in, should I do one drawer, drawer at a time? I think I'll do one drawer at a time. Yeah, let's do one drawer at a time and then we'll just get going. So let's get back into this. I wanna get rid of so much stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna be getting rid of a lot of gym clothes, but we'll see. All right, let's go. gym clothes. Now knowing me, I really don't wear a lot of color to the gym. So these I'm gonna keep because these are just cute. Um, I don't wear a lot of color to the gym. So I'm gonna be getting rid of, it doesn't look like there's too much color in here. I really just wear green, blue, brown and black and gray. So if there's anything else in here that isn't any of those colors, I'm gonna get rid of it with the exception of these shorts right here. And hold on one second. There's actually, <laughs> there's a pair of leggings on here that I'm adding to the get rid of pile. So these are a pair of purple sculpted ink. I'm gonna donate these. They're very cute, they're seven eighths lengths. I don't wear purple, I just don't wear it. So that's the first thing that's gonna go. And then everything else, we're gonna go through it really quickly. Um, I only wear darker colored pants to the gym because I, I, I don't like the look of sweat stains on the pants. So I'm gonna get rid of those. And just other colors I've been sliding away from more and more. I used to have orange and yellow and blues and now I just, like I don't wear them. So I've been slowly getting rid of them, but I'm sure I still have a bunch of stuff I can get rid of. So let's just, let's just go through this and see if I can bring it down anymore because I'm sure there's some stuff in here I can get rid of. All right, so let's go drawer number two. We're gonna do the other two drawers together, but this one has more than enough to keep me busy for a while. So let's just go through this drawer really quick. second this is a romper I really want it to be one of those romper girlies at the gym but I'm just not I feel kind of silly with them um, especially with the shorts so and I do I would wear a sports bra underneath this and that just feels like too many tight layers so I'm gonna be getting rid of this little gym romper gym romper it's a one piece I'm gonna be getting rid of this little one piece it's cute but it's not my thing so and if you already saw I have two pairs of the exact same leggings so I don't I'm gonna keep one pair of red leggings, but this is really the only pair of red leggings I have. I'm not a huge fan of the Fabletics, 
right across the tummy when i got these i thought this was on the back but it's on the tummy and i'm not a big fan of that but i do like the way they fit and i do like having one pair of red leggings for when i'm feeling sassy but i will be replacing these and when i replace these i'm gonna get rid of them but right now it's just like a, this is just like a stand-in for the leggings that i'm gonna get so. that I just bought and I just hauled and I haven't worn it but I don't like it was a couple bucks and I know it's very wasteful to get rid of it before I've even worn it but I'm not gonna wear it it's one it was an impulse buy I need to be more aware like I really do love it I think it's really pretty but I don't go anywhere so it's just sitting in my room taking up space so waste of money I could return it but that's also a waste of money so it just makes more sense for me to get rid of it so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it I did declutter a lot of it before. So I'm really only keeping the greens, the blues, the blacks, the grays, one pair of reds. And I have some bathing suits and stuff mixed up in there also. But this is going, this is all stuff I just, I just don't wear it. I never reach for it. I did do a declutter of my gym clothes really recently. So there really shouldn't have been that much in there to get rid of. This I've been holding on to. It's a set. I've been holding on to it for a while. With when I go on vacation, I'll wear it as like out or I'm not going anywhere. So I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff and let's just jump into the next drawer and then two more drawers and then I guess we'll start organizing, which is the part I'm not looking forward to. This is the easy part. Getting rid of stuff is the easy part. It's the organizing it that I'm just like, ugh, ugh. All right, let me toss this in the donate bag and then we'll get back to it. get back to it these are a pair of my thrift store jeans i love these jeans i'm keeping them i can't wear them to work but i love those jeans here is a pair of shorts that i do use so now we're down to i only have three pairs of shorts now so i think that's reasonable here is a pillowcase that's going to go in that closet I had a phase where I was just all about these knit sweaters that I would get from Goodwill. I think I only have three of them left. 
If I have more than three, I'll get rid of one, but I think it's just three, so let's get two. And the other thing out of this set that I'm for sure keeping is my, um, my plaid skirts. I'm not gonna be getting rid of any plaid skirts unless they're like super, super cheap and falling apart, but I think I got rid of all of those already a few months ago. So let's jump into this. Like this, I'm not, I'm not getting rid of it. I love my plaid skirts. I'm not getting rid of my plaid skirts. So let's just jump into this. These are the last two drawers. Um, all right, so everything I'm keeping is here and under the blanket. It looks like a lot and it is um, But you know when you're constantly decluttering the keep pile Like percentage and ratio wise seems to grow um, And the get rid of pile progressively gets smaller and smaller. And there are a couple things I'm not just like, oh, I'm not too happy. I'm getting rid of but I'm getting rid of them This doesn't never fit me right these pants I have had since high school. I've had these pants, I bought these at Spencer's in high school for like $9, but they have holes in them. They're falling to pieces. They still fit me, but it's just like, and then just this sports bra, like is barely a sports bra. This is like a bandeau top. I'm never gonna wear that. This color looks horrible on me. I got a couple rompers. I'm, <clears throat> this shirt, I liked it on the picture. But on me, it just didn't look right. And then I have a couple pieces that still have tags that I'm just, I'm getting rid of them. I'm just donating them. They're not worth wasting the time to sell. I'm down to four pairs of shorts. And I think that is a pretty reasonable amount. Like I still have gym shorts, but I mean like denim khaki shorts. And I think that's a reasonable amount because I do like ultimately, is this a skirt? If this is a skirt, I'm gonna keep it actually. Yeah, this is a skirt, so I'm gonna keep this. But for um, living in Miami, I think 
I think four pairs of shorts is pretty good, um, considering that the rest of the year I'll probably be wearing shorts. Um, there's only two pairs of jeans in here. All my other jeans are for work. And yeah, everything else is gym clothes or casual clothes pretty much. And my plaid skirt. This one, I'm never getting rid of this. I love this skirt. I know it's a little beat up right now. I bought two of these. I sold one of them. I still regret it. But this is my Outlander skirt. I love this skirt. And here we go. So this one, I might get rid of this one. I think I'm gonna get rid of this. This is really cheapy. This is from Romwe a few years ago. I don't really wear it, so this one I think I'll actually get rid of. But here is my little stack of get rid get rid of from that part. And the more you look at stuff like this, the more you're like every time you shop you just think of the stuff you got rid of and it's like and when am i gonna get rid of this am i gonna get rid of this in three months is it gonna sit in my drawer for two months after i wear it once and you start thinking more like you shop more consciously unless they're like me and you have spouts of depression where shopping gives you dopamine but yeah so now the fun part which is organizing so first i'm gonna grab some clorox wipes and wipe down the drawers and then we're just gonna organize them really quickly we're gonna fold everything i'm gonna put my sports bras in one my sweaters and casual t-shirts in another my leggings in another and just my t-shirts in another one and we might declutter more t-shirts actually yeah we might declutter more t-shirts along the way so let's just jump back into this i'm getting tired <laughs> okay should i do one more drawer I have one more drawer, but it's really just t-shirts. I'll do that drawer the same day I do my closet. All right, let's finish this up and I'll show you what I've gotten rid of. <sighs> really, really quickly, I'm gonna add these slides to my get rid of because like I have a ton of these slides, they're really comfortable. These I got from Five Below and dirt just sticks to these, specifically these, like nothing else. And they get nasty and it's not the color, like something about the material just makes them nasty super fast. So these I'm just gonna get rid of. I. I can't have these, they get too nasty too quick. So, uh, all right, let me just, uh, let's just jump back. gonna make everything like a stack like top sweaters bottoms 
um, casual t-shirts, sports bras, miscellaneous, like my bathing suits and stuff, and leggings, but my leggings stack got to be about this tall and tall over, so now I have two stacks of leggings, and I still have to organize and pull to the stuff from like the first bundle of stuff and things, so note to self, I don't need any more leggings for a while, but I'm going to take some of this just so I can clear up some space for the last batch, and I've decided to get rid of this other pair of forbidden pants, so... Thank you for existing, but I don't, I don't wear them. All right, so I'm gonna move this all to the side and then we're just gonna keep on, keep on folding. Oh my goodness. except for my makeup bags which stay here and the uh, blankets and the pillowcases and one booby pad that I'm gonna put on my cat's head. Um, so I don't wanna do this again, but doing just the drawers shows me that I have a long, long way to go. Um, I will have to go through these drawers again. They're not folded the way I want them to be folded. I did start rushing when I was putting everything in the drawers. I have more black tank tops. I have more black and white tank tops than anybody needs in this world and I haven't even touched the closet and I'm still missing one of the drawers over there. I'll show you what I have so far. It doesn't look the way I want it to look. It's not as downsized as I want it to be, but I'll just give you a sneak peek of everything. I'll post pictures of the drawers up here, I guess, but I have a long way to go. And this is just the clothing. And I have gotten rid of most of my things, like my coffee cups, most of my books, um, my, my like tchotchkes, most of those are long gone, but it's just, I know there's still so much more stuff I have to go through. And it's not like I have a goal to get rid of my stuff, it's just I have too much stuff. Like, just getting rid of these things and seeing what I have left, I, like I know even the stuff I kept, I'm probably not gonna wear it. I don't have enough opportunity to wear it. My gym clothes, yeah. My leggings I have more than enough of and I got rid of a, like a handful of them and before I got rid of more than 50 pairs of leggings. So it's just, I still have so much stuff and with the limited space I do have, I really need to cut back. And I know just looking at this that I'm buying way, no, that I'm buying way too much stuff. Way too much stuff. There's There weren't a lot, but there are a couple things that still have tags on them. Like some leggings and some sports bras and some gym tops, like they still have tags on them. And it's, if I'm not wearing them like right when I get them, it means like I wasn't excited in my mind. If I'm not wearing them right when I get them, it's like I'm not excited to wear them. If I, if I buy a pair of leggings, I'm gonna wanna wear those leggings to the gym right away. If I'm buying a sweater when it's cold, why am I not wearing that sweater right away? It's just gonna sit in a closet till next year because it's barely ever cold here. So there's a lot of stuff I still need to go through again. Like this is the first round. I'm sure in a month or two, I'm gonna go through these drawers again and get rid of more stuff. And I still have to do my closet. I still have to do the hallway closet. I still have to do those vacuum seal bags that are just full of stuff and they're in those bags because I don't wear them frequently. So there's a lot of stuff I have to go through again. It's daunting. I feel better about it, but 
we have a long way to go and the lesson learned is just I need to stop bringing in more things and that's gonna be hard because I do I do haul videos for fun so those are gonna change they're still gonna be haul videos but I don't think clothing is gonna be a part of that because I have more than enough clothing and not I don't wear them enough so let's oh my god what do you want to be up here for so um yeah that's gonna it's gonna be interesting We'll see how that goes. Just no more clothes. No more black tank tops. No more leggings for a while. If I do buy leggings, I know that I'm gonna be buying black ones because that's what I wear. I have about 14 pairs of black leggings and I don't need more pink ones. I don't need orange. I don't need anything. I don't need white. I definitely don't need white leggings. But lesson learned. Anyway, this is part one of what I guess is gonna be a decluttering series that is never going to end. It's never gonna end, baby. No. So, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for hanging out with me and my cats. And <sighs> happy 2024 if you're on a decluttering journey with me. Let's just let's just get this started. This isn't my first rodeo, but it's it's still intense. And I'm right here with you if you're doing it. Don't get discouraged. Just one step at a time. Whatever step works best for you, one step at a time. And once again, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.